We just touched down in Vail, Colorado. Okay, great. It's getting dark. What time is it? Five. So I get five, it's dark. It's dropped. It's dropped about 10, 11, It's gonna be like degrees one degree, degree there. Okay, we've been traveling all day and we just checked into our hotel and we're gonna do a quick room tour before we get started. So when you walk in, I believe this is the closet, a nice spacious little closet. And then this is the bathroom. They got all the goods in here. The lighting is also really good, which is a plus. And here's the shower. Here's the bed. We have like this little, <laughs> mini couch, futon, I don't even know what that is. Love seat. Um, we have the TV, fridge in here, the coffee and tea area, clutch, a little desk in case, well not in case, <laughs> I know I'm gonna be working. And then we have a balcony, but it's really dark outside so I'm gonna show you guys well, tomorrow in all reality, but you could tell there's a lot of snow outside and it's supposed to be snowing the whole time we're here. So that's really exciting. <laughs> guys it's Monday morning and I just got ready and got dressed and we are exploring Vail today I don't know why the lighting is so weird right now we're gonna be walking around Vail today and maybe go ice skating go get some food I'm first gonna grab some coffee from the coffee shop downstairs in our hotel oh my gosh it's so cold I think it's like six degrees outside right now I also am coming back to Vales. So we only have, we leave Wednesday. We only have today and tomorrow's our full days. Tomorrow we're gonna be in Aspen all day. Today we're gonna be in Vail all day. And since it's our first time here, I think we're just gonna be exploring. The most like activity wise we might do is like the ice skating. I think everything is TBD, we're going with the flow, but we just don't have enough time. And it's our first time we kind of wanted to explore more. And then once we like check out the scene and come back, we can always uh, do the other activities. It's gonna be like an all day thing. I would have to get ready. Go to a class, right out the skis, do the whole thing. But yeah, I'm gonna go get coffee. It is so cool. I wanted to show you my outfit real quick. My headband, these big chunky earrings, my jacket, leggings, snow boots, 
under here I have layers so under my leggings I have uh, stockings and then I have my gloves as well under my coat I have a bodysuit and then my leggings I don't know if you can tell I feel like the lighting's a little dark but maybe you can tell um, yeah do not bring the most appropriate undergarment I'm no expert when it comes to this weather or the mountains but I'm prepping next time I come back I promise this time I just focus more on getting the right coats and layering up <laughs> but next time I'm gonna buy like thermal layers so they actually like do more work for me and keep me warm <laughs> But you know, we're gonna be here once, so let's give it a shot and we tried it. And it comes with like a presentation that I showed you guys, so I think that's kind of what you paid for. But the hot chocolate itself is so good. It's super rich and creamy, and they melt like, I think she said Swiss and French chocolate, so it's 50 and 50. And they put like a marshmallow in there, and the marshmallow like melts eventually in the hot chocolate. It just gives it so much flavor, but the hot chocolate itself is also extremely like rich and flavorful. I would say it's like a medium on the sweetness level. It's medium to like stronger sweetness. It's definitely sweeter. Honestly, it tastes like a meal to me. <laughs> but it's so good. So, babe, did you? What are your thoughts on the hot chocolate? What are, what are your thoughts on the hot chocolate? It's very chocolatey. The hot chocolate is very chocolatey. <laughs> It's quite tasty. You can taste the chocolate for sure. <laughs> and it's a cute, it's a cute drink for 25 US dollars. <laughs> it's overpriced. Yeah, but I say if you're here, is, try it once. This is worse than Air One. It's really good. There's a reason why it's the best hot cocoa in the world. I don't know if that's like an actual award where people just gave it that award, but. Um, the spa we decided uh, so we called we have to do a date pass because i found out there's like a salt room which i love it's what does technically that mean? um it's like salt in the room it's great for like breathing this is all like post uh winter sport activities recovery activity uh recovery stuff but we're just gonna recover from life we're gonna go to the spa and get a day pass and do the sauna, the steam room, the pool outside. But to buy a bikini because I forgot one. Do you guys have any bikinis? Over on this rack, 
um, on the other side. Okay, nice, thank you. Okay, let's see, just a little basic black bikini, actually. Maybe I do like a little one piece. I wanna get something I'll actually wear after this trip. definitely reasonable for what you get it's more like a peaceful retreat in the middle of like Catskills they give you everything you need and it's just these small cottages and they have like a farm to table restaurant it's really nice in the summertime they like open up their pool and it's like super small and boutique they have a golf course it's like a nice place to go get away and relax you don't see people which is great yeah you see a lot of wildlife nice yeah very cool. It's really nice. nice. I would go back. I go to a lot of places. Do you go to Europe or you stay in the States? I've hiked uh, in the Alps oh, okay. uh, a number of times and in England and Scotland and, um, and it's it's great. Yeah. yeah. You, know, you can you can do a hundred mile hike in the Alps, but you go hut to hut. I don't hike. Do you go with oh, them? Okay. Oh. Okay. He does like full. It's intense. Week, week yeah. Do you go with your buddies or you just go solo? Go with my buddies. Sometimes yeah. I go by myself. And you just got me jumping through. dinner you guys know i don't typically drink but we're drinking watermelon no. <laughs> i wish you know i love watermelon juice no but i had a glass of wine and she's feeling it and i am feeling it because i don't really drink wait are you actually am i actually feeling it yeah like you have to i think because i like drink it while Lau's getting ready which by the way Lau takes four times longer than me to get ready. I have like all my outfits in my, like I have a virtual wardrobe in my brain and I can try on outfits in my head before I put them on physically. So I'm so quick when I put them on physically because I have like a spinning wheel in my head of like my outfits in my closet or what I brought with me. If I was like that, you should be concerned. Ugh, no, that doesn't go in there. Where'd it go? In the trash. I'm sorry. Anyways, Lyle takes forever was my point. So by the time I was done picking his outfit, I finished my glass of wine. My Sauvignon bulk. And now I feel it. <laughs> wow, this is great. We're going out today. Let's go. Chop, chop. Wait, hold on. Let me put my jacket, please. I just forgot the name of the. Um, it's getting spot. lit tonight. Let's go. Listen. This is cute because it's yours, but it's giving. Again, it's giving. Let's it's go. Giving. It's giving New York no, City. No, no, Grab no, no, the bag. No. It's giving like it's too big on me, right? No, it's, this is, looks just great. It looks sure? super cozy. Yeah, yeah, come on. Oh, let me fix my ear. Zoomed into my ear. Oh. No one wants to see my ear. Let's go. All right. You have the room key? Yeah, I do. <laughs> it's called Sweet Basil. Watch. You want that? 
Yeah, it's called sweet basil. <laughs> Hello. Um, How's it going? Good. Good. Oh, hungry. Yes, hungry. <laughs> I just try to give Lyle a piggyback ride because I thought I can, I could do it. I swear I've done it before. And boy was I wrong. We were in the hall, we just got back from dinner. That place is also incredible and the best food, some of the best food we've ever had. Could not recommend it more. It was so good. Tell them the name. I, I already did, Sweet Basil. All right. They were recognized by, they were supposed to get a Michelin star but then it just said they were recognized so they didn't get it but they, I'm sure they're gonna get it soon because it's so incredibly good. But yeah, Anyways, everyone says they didn't get a Michelin star. No, they, they had a thing, that they were, they came and tested it, I don't know how that works. But they were recognized for one, just not ready yet. But I think they're ready. I think they're ready. If I, was, if I gave out Michelin stars, I would give them one. I don't know why I'm out of breath, it's the elevation. Feet. We're in the hallway coming back because we have an early morning tomorrow. We wanted to just rest up and get to bed. Um, so I thought I, I wanted to give a loud piggyback ride. I, I know I've done it before. I know I have. I just remember doing it before. And this is so funny. He like, I wish I got this on camera. It was hilarious. He like gets on my back. And like, if honestly this was on camera, the moment he gets on my back, my knees buckle and I just fall on the floor and I'm cracking up like the sequence was like legendary there was no like me like struggling to hold him up it genuinely like I vividly remember him jumping on my back and I was like wow he's much heavier than I thought okay I'm going down and I just like went down <laughs> my body was not even trying to fight and like really hold him up like there was absolutely no holding him up though he like he went from jumping on my back to on the floor because I just went down that quick. It was so I was like about to pee my pants on the floor. And maybe, maybe it's because you had something to drink. Maybe no, but I had a glass. I only had this one glass of wine from like three hours ago. Like, and then I had dinner. I'm like, I'm fine. But we can blame it on that. Yeah, you can blame it on the alcohol. Let's blame it on the on the Sauvignon Blanc. And then. Special, why do you keep saying it like that? I don't know. I think you said it even worse. <laughs> yeah. Like, I don't know. Like, you said it crazy. And yeah, now we're just gonna watch a movie and go to bed.
We just got back to the car. I don't think I've had a chance to talk to you guys today, but from what you could probably tell from the content, we were at Aspen. We drove, Porsche. yeah, we drove down um, this like morning. We left this morning, but it's a two hour ride. So we got here at like noon. I had a Zoom call, so I took that in the car. And then um, we went and got, we walked around the St. Regis. Then we went to St. Ambrose, got a chai latte and then went to we just rode the gondola we're not skiing but I, we found out we can also just like go up just to like see but we found out and got to the gondola literally 10 minutes before the last one went up so we got so lucky otherwise we would have missed it but that meant we had no time up there really and we just have to come back down but it was such a cool experience it's about 20 minutes to go up 20 minutes to go down i'm sorry if it's really loud in here but we have the heater blasting because we're trying to warm back up um so yeah that was pretty much today and now we're gonna go drive around a little bit because it started snowing and we're really cold maybe we'll walk around but i think we're gonna do half driving half walking and then we're going to dinner we made a rezzo and then we have to drive back i just checked this into our flight tomorrow as well so yeah pretty fun exciting spontaneous productive day i just realized i have my <laughs> We're at USPS because Lau has to send out this letter. I'm waiting in the car and I just was going through my bag. I realized I brought my supplements with me for today because I like to not always, sometimes I take them on an empty stomach, but I just felt like today I should have, I don't know, it was my intuition. So I don't normally have a problem with my supplements on an empty stomach, but this is all of them. All the goods, I have like magnesium and um, uh, this one that starts with a B, what is it? Like by Buco, something, I don't know. I don't know. All the, all the good stuff. All the good stuff. Oh, come on, water bottle. Okay. 